Hey guys, welcome back. I'm excited to talk to you guys today about the new Olive and June Summer Collection. It's Italy inspired and I really love all the names behind these. They talked about them a little bit on their Instagram stories. It's a fun collection with some fun colors and the more I found out about the theme, I kind of understood why they added some colors in there. This is available at Olive and June. You can buy the summer box, you can buy individual polishes, or you can just buy the polish set, but this is the box. For this collection, it comes with this cute pouch here that's really fun and summary with all the things you need to make the perfect manicure. I use all their tools and everything. If you are new to Olive and June and you want to buy a Manny system, you can use my code OJGOPOLISHED20 for 20% off of that and you can add whatever polishes you want in with that kit. But it also comes with this remover pot which I love to use when I'm swatching because if I just want to fix one nail I'll just clean that nail off and it won't mess up all my other nails with the cotton swab or ball with the cotton round so I really like their remover pot and then it also comes with a top coat when you purchase two um, I do like their top coat I do tend to use glisten and glow about 90% of the time if I do use this I like a little plumper top coat and so I will add two coats to this but I do find this to be very long-lasting as well as their polishes I can get eight to ten days of wear with them so they're really nice and so that's what comes in the box there are six polishes in this summer collection and there are five creams and then a really nice fun glitter topper that I love because it's really sparse and subtle but what I'm wearing on my nails today is this beautiful pale yellow which I I find to go well with a lot of different colors. I have been loving really pale yellows, especially the ones that are a little bit cooler, even in my garden out this year, and I'm just really enjoying that. They're bright and fun, and I feel like they go with everything. I wanted to pull this out today, and I wore it in my last review too, and I had a hot coral top on, and it went really well with that too. So it's this one right here. It's called On the Brighter Side, and it's from their new Love Line, which I have a review for, and I'll try to remember. <laughs> Sometimes I forget to put links down below um, of this. Um, um, but if I forget, it's just in my video line. Okay, so let's get into it. These are all mid-tone shades, which are really fun. I had a hard time knowing <laughs> which polish to start with because I usually start with the lighter colors and these are all kind of mid-tone, but I'm gonna start with this fun grass green. This one is a beautiful shade called Bocce Ball, which is an Italian game that you play on the lawn. And I like these kind of grassy green polishes. I love the color of this. It's a little bit cool toned. We'll see if this makes it in my favorite green polish video that I'm going to be doing hopefully next week. I I love the shade of this one. Now the formula is quite a bit sheer, so you'll have to decide if you like the formula or not. I wouldn't say it's a sheer, but it's it's kind of close. It's more of a crelly, so a cream and a jelly polish kind of mixed together. So it's a little bit buildable, more buildable than a sheer, but it's going to take you three coats to make this one opaque. So some of you might not find that to be worth it, but I really think it is worth it for me for this color because I think it's a nice color. So let's get into the comparisons. We have Orly Plastic Jungle, and that one's close, maybe a little bit more lime. It does have a much better formula, or I should just say a different formula because this one is meant to be like an opaque cream. Cream. I have talked about this polish and this collection in almost every video lately, I feel like. <laughs> but go get all of them. They're available at Beyond Polish and you need that entire collection. They're all fantastic. And I would probably choose this one over Bocce Ball, but I still do like Bocce Ball. I'm kind of curious how long it lasted because I don't feel like Plastic Jungle would last me eight days. So that's the one thing about Olive in June is they do last a little bit longer on me. So, and then we have Grass Never Greener from Essie and that's more creamy and not as bright, but I wanted to show you just how bright this bocce ball is compared to that one. And then Head to Keto Color is much more cool toned and I love this shade. This is one of my favorite greens. It's definitely gonna be in my video. <laughs> I'm giving a lot away about that video, but anyway, such a great green. Probably one of my favorites ever of a green. This well, at least for summer. So I like this one too. I just love these fun, bright greens. I was going to compare it to Lime Fizz, but that one's much more lime, so it's not at all close. I felt like the polishes that I put in for the comparisons were quite a bit closer than that one, but I just thought I would mention it. Um, I'll let you decide if you want to get this one or not. And then we have a color that I thought was kind of unusual for them to throw in here because I do feel like it's more autumn, but then when I found out the theme, and what it was for then I liked it quite a bit better and it's called flower pot and that's 
is exactly what it represents is like flower pots on the porches in the Mediterranean and I thought that was super cute and so that's why they added this terracotta orange color for summer it does have a sheer formula there were times I could get it opaque in two coats and times that I had to do three so it's gonna depend a lot of olive and June polishes are a little bit more sheer but I think that is kind of due to what they have in their polish to make it a little more long-lasting and I'm just assuming that's kind of the case so you have to just decide what you want to have in your polish but this one is a little bit more sheer so it does give it that kind of squishy look um, which I kind of like actually it's a little makes it a little bit lighter for summer instead of like a heavy thick creamy formula I would feel like it was more appropriate for fall and I love it for this theme let's get into comparisons that I have so you can kind of see where it fits it's not exactly like any that I have that are like this and of course the formula is a little bit different but you can see I have yes I canyon to DIY and OPI it's a piazza cake and they're all different shades that are all a little bit different but yet <laughs> similar and that should give you an idea of where it fits and then we have this beautiful sky blue polish and this is called not cloud so it's kind of inspired by those warm sunny summery days in Italy and I love this color of blue I don't wear blue very often but I do love this tone so it is a little similar to some I have but yet a little bit different so I do like this one quite a bit this one also has a curly formula but it's gonna build up I feel like in two coats for this one love the shade let's get into the comparisons for it so I compared it to Essie take the lead and that's a similar color tone but it's lighter and brighter love that polish so much but you can see they're the same kind of tone you can see that I like all these polishes in this tone it's a little bit more of a cooler blue and then strut your stuff by Essie is a little bit darker and then all of Jude mega big blue I thought you'd want to see is similar and lighter Piper come here come say hi come here come say hi up <laughs> they miss you when you're not around here come here come here come say hi Come say hi to everyone. See, Popper? Ooh, that's my baby, huh? That's my baby. Okay. Here. Bye. <laughs> she had surgery like a week and a half ago, so I'm not going to make her climb up on my lap. She's very bored out there waiting for me. <laughs> I do really like this one. I don't wear blues very often, though. Probably only like once in the summer. I just gravitate towards other colors, but this one's really fun. And this one's how do you spell Bougainvillea? Bougainvillea? Bougainvillea. I'm probably saying that wrong. Apparently they had trouble knowing exactly how to spell it, so they thought that name would be funny, and I thought it was really cute. And I love the color because it pretty much looks like the blooms of that plant, that vining plant that you see everywhere in Italy. So it's it's beautiful I love this name I love that they added this the formula on this one is also pretty sheer I almost thought it was like a sheer but when I compared it to one of their shears from their spring collection I was like nope this is just definitely a crelly but it is gonna take a little bit more to build up so it's gonna be three coats so there are some shades that are closer to this that you might like if you do like that more cream formula but this one's got that nice squishy look with it being a three coater crelly almost sheer leaning so let's look at the comparisons that I I have so I compared it to this lettuce is radicchio I think that's how you say it that's from their spring release so when I compared it to this one I was like oh that is a true sheer so this is definitely a crelly and then swoon in the lagoon is more of a richer color but that's kind of the same color tone and then all of in June TLG is a little bit more purple but honestly Essie has quite a few shades like this that are within this range that I think are gonna be kind of close so you might have something similar to this but if you like that kind of curly squishy look in a formula and a polish that's long lasting then you're gonna like this one and then we have house of olive in june and it's this nice vibrant purple with like a hint of blue so it's a little cool little more cool toned and it's a pretty color and i guess this is supposed to be inspired by the 90s high fashion houses in italy i've never been to italy but this is inspired by and i really like this color i love colors like this especially as we get to the end of summer as we transition into fall i like to go for these kind of bolder purples and blues. This one also does have kind of that curly formula. It's going to be opaque in two to three coats depending on how you apply it. And it is similar to other colors that I that have been my favorites for a while and some that are older that I haven't talked about in a while. For example, Sweet Retreat is a little bit more opaque and a little more blue and darker but it's pretty close. That's probably the closest that I could find. That one is such a good color and it's super old and I have 
haven't pulled it out in a while, but it's such a great one. So I'm glad to see that this one's a little bit close to that. And then CNH is more blue. And then OPI, OU Sing Dance and Produce is more blue as well. So I love the color of this one. I think it's so fun. Then we have Star Shower. This kind of goes with Cosmic, but this is the more like rose gold version of it. And I really love it. It totally reminds me of Fairy Dust. Um, was that a Northern Lights polish? Or was it China Glaze? I can't remember, I'll have to look it up. Do you guys remember that when that was huge? Probably about eight to 10 years ago when I was like really getting into nail polish and I loved that because it just added just a subtle bit of glitter on top and so you could put this on top of anything and make it a little bit more fun and shimmery. And if I like glitters, they're gonna be kind of more sparse like this one. And it goes along with their cosmic theme and so star shower, which I thought was kind of fun. And in summer, that totally goes along with this collection. This is just a topper. I'm showing you it on top of House of Olive and June that you can see. And as you can see, it just has that nice light coverage. Super easy, dries fast, easy to take off everything that I like in a glitter. <laughs> So I was surprised to find that this was one of my favorites from the collection. Actually, I think you'll like it too. Okay, so let's talk about my favorites. So obviously I'm going to include this one in my favorites just because I think it's super fun. Ugh, this going to be tricky. I'd probably choose Take the Lead over this blue. Don't really wear terracottas very often, although I love that they added it for this theme. There's lots of purples like this that have a much better formula, so I didn't pick this one. This one I love, but I think I do like the more opaque Essie versions. They have quite a few that are kind of close to this. And so the two that I'm going to pick are this green because I love green, even though the formula is a little bit more crelly. So just keep that in mind. And this topper here. So these are my two favorites. What are your favorites? Let me know down below. Thanks so much for joining me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. I like chatting with you guys down there. And we will see you in my next review. Bye guys.